All right, th this is going to be a quick one, hopefully. Uh, if you've watched the previous video on this channel, which I'll try and remember to link to down below, uh, I mentioned that I needed another book, uh, another portable book to just carry around with me, read while I'm eating lunch, that kind of thing. Um, I've gotten myself into this bad habit where most of the books I'm trying to read are not very portable. I mean, here's the, the complete stories of Oz. You can see it's a monster. Uh, I can't really read this while I'm eating a sandwich at lunch. Um, I just finished off uh, Narrative of the Life of Frederick Douglass, which had been my portable book for the last two weeks. Now I, I need another pocket book. So this is, this is a little bit uh, on the larger size as pocket books go, but I think, I think it's still what you would call pocketbook. I mean, you know, you can compare these two here and see that this one is, is much more portable than this one, especially because this one is falling apart. So uh, this is a book that I picked up on Book Street uh, here in Vietnam. Uh, I'll try and remember to link to the videos uh, in the description down below, both uh, my video tour of Book Street uh, and the, the, the video in which I talked about uh, this book as part of the book haul I got from Book Street. Uh, it's a fantasy book by an Australian author, although this is the American edition. Uh, it's a uh, it's a used book, which is how I happened to get it on Book Street. It's not sold in Vietnam, but uh, somebody who was traveling through must have brought it with them from America, I guess. Uh, as used books sometimes end up, especially in uh, hot, moist climates, climates like uh, the tropics, it's got kind of discolored... I don't know, what is it, moldy pages, uh, indicating this, is, this has been moldering on a used bookshelf for some time. Um, and I, I just, yeah, see, the thing about living out in Vietnam, it's very hard to read fantasy uh, because it's, it's hard to track down a whole series. And I swear they don't even... The, the, they don't publish fantasy books that aren't series. It's like impossible to find. Um, so there, many have has been the time when I was in a bookstore somewhere in Asia and I saw what looked to be an interesting fantasy book and it said, you know, part six of 12. And I thought, okay, well, forget it. But uh, recently, my my new philosophy has been, well, look, Be better to better to try it out than never to read it all, at all. Uh, in other words, better to just dip your toes in the water, get a little bit of a taste of it, get a little bit of a flavor of it. Uh, would be better than just never reading fantasy books at all. Um, and uh, I, I, I mean, I, I don't start in the middle of a fantasy series. It has to be the first book. Uh, and this was the first book that I got, got uh, on Book Street as, as a used, books, um, used book stall. Uh, it looks, I mean, it looks like a mass market trade paperback fantasy. Uh, who knows if it's any good or not? Um, but uh, I, I like fantasy or I, I, I go through phases. I go through phases where I get sick of it and then go through phases where I, I pick it up again. But uh, I, I'm in a phase right now where I, I, I mass market fantasy sounds pretty good. Um, we'll see. Some of these fantasy books can be quite readable and some of them cannot are decidedly unreadable. This, yeah, the, the, the page of quotes here compares this author to just about everyone. Uh, it's a balance between the Norse saga and the best of Robert E. Howard. Uh, it's as least as good as early Terry Goodkind and David Eddings. Uh, it's, uh, of course, they compare him to Tolkien. Sorry, her. Uh, few descendants of Tolkien approach the narrative energy and integrity of the master. Douglas is tirelessly inventive rather than repetitive. Um, so... 
get the impression that this is a Tolkien-esque world, kind of Dungeons and Dragons-esque fantasy world. But I really know nothing about this. I, I just kind of picked it up uh, off of a used bookstore just because it reminded me of the trashy kind of mass market fantasy paperback that I am at times attracted to, although I have not read as much as I would have liked. So uh, I'm just going to make this my, my pocket book for uh, however long. Uh, even though I'm going to be really busy, I'll read this at my lunch breaks and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so st starting this one.